Thought I'd do a quick review of this uh, taco. It's a GT Power Professional Tachometer. Just arrived in the post. Haven't even unpacked it yet. Um, I was at the airfield the other day and a friend of mine pulled out one of these and started using it to, uh, to set the idle on his, uh, on his new plane. And I've been meaning to get one of these for ages but didn't really know what to get. And um, he was saying how good it is and relatively good price. So when I got home I had a look on, uh, on the internet, on YouTube and there was a, a first two reviews came up was, was actually giving it quite a hard time saying it didn't work and it was a piece of junk. Um, however, um, they were trying to use it under fluorescent lights and the way these work, um, that isn't going to be a good thing. And a lot of people had actually highlighted that to them. So what I thought I would do is I would um, uh, have a play with this over the next uh, few hours, few days, and then I'd take a trip to the airfield under natural light and I would um, let you know what I found and how I've got on with it. Okay, well here I am at the, uh, at the airfield, my local airfield with my uh, Taco. Uh, it's been a few weeks since I got it, so I've had quite a um, uh, quite a bit of use out of it, just uh, practicing with it or testing it. Um, I mean, there's, there's there's very little to learn on it really. You've got a, a power button, switch it on, and then all you need to do is um, is select the number of props. And, and and to be honest, that's the most critical thing um, because obviously, if you get that wrong, um, you're going to have problems. You're going to have a, a an incorrect reading. Um, so, what I have done with it, because I've been using it a little bit, I compared it with a friend who has an identical one, and we got very similar results, which was encouraging. Um, but I also compared it with a friend's Thunder Tiger um, Taco, and um, which he's actually tested, and he's, he's confident he's right. And again, very similar results. Um, and, and when I compared it to the frequency that you get on... Um, the, uh, the flashing from um, fluorescent tubes, uh, again, it was reading the correct, um, correct frequency. Uh, I think that's one of the problems that people have been having with um, not only this, but other tacos that I've, I've seen reviews of, is they've been doing the review indoors under a fluorescent light, and they're just saying it's crap because it, it, it's not working. Um, so anyway, here I am at the airfield. I've got this uh, lovely beat-up old um, uh, foam sporter, which I've had a huge amount of use out of, which I, I'm quite fond of. But I thought it'd be quite good just to um, show it in use, um, and this been a little bit quieter, a little bit easier to manage, and I've, I've tethered the back of the plane down so it's, it's not going anywhere, hopefully. So if we just put it onto a, uh, a low RPM, and we can see that's giving, hopefully you can see that in the camera, that's giving 2,600. If I just zoom in on that. Okay, and if just okay about mid throttle. So okay, if we just have a, a quick look at this, we can see that it not only uh, gave us the the RPM, which has now gone back to zip. Uh, to zero, thankfully. Um, it's also giving us the peak RPM, which was, what, 12,390. So, quite pleased with that. So, really, all things weighed up. I think it's quite a nice, uh, a nice piece of kit, really, that seems to be giving fairly accurate results uh, and consistent results. So, um, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. 